This right here. This right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's what I like to look, call a little little friend of mine, Garbo. Uh, Robiche. Robiche. Garbo. Uh, trash. Anyway, this is a stock S14C. It's the passenger side that I've been putting in my driver's side for like two years now. And well, the car's not running, so. Well, it is running now, but when it wasn't, I put it in there just so I could have a seat in there. But it's been sitting in, it's been here, it's been just rotting. Right. So I needed a new seat. This thing needs to go. This is my new, my new-ish, all right? This, my friends, is an OMP First R racing seat. It is FIA approved for all the boys out there, for all the, for anyone out there, I guess, that's looking for a nice quality seat. OMP got the setup. So, let's just start out with what it's made out of. Made out of fiberglass. I wish it was made out of carbon fiber, but it's fiberglass. It's also got this really, really nice, like, cushion right here. It, it's for your thighs, for your, th for your thick boys. It's got these nice cushions for your thighs and legs. It's got a really low seating area for your butt. And if you're like me, 6'2", and re like really tall, and you're trying to sit in a 240, which is a relatively small car, and you have a really high seat, don't work too well. So, you need something low profile. That's what I got. It's got this really nice quality fabric because I know a lot of, and I've, I'm, I haven't sat in a lot of, lot of like bucket or race seats, but I know for the most part, if you get a rep with a brand, they're cheap and they're crap. And you know they're crap by the feel and by the longevity, the la la la, the longevity, la. The, the lifespan of the seat. And you know, like, you just know. You know, you can you can wiggle the seat around. It's just crap. It's just crappy. There's no backing to it. This one is a really nice seat. Oh, and like I said, OMP First Star. It's got this really nice, really nice fabric that I really, really like. It's got this really nice cushion. These really nice plastic pieces for the harness on the side. It's got two up here, two on the side, and one in the middle. So you can do a five-point harness or even a six-point harness. So the reason I went with this one is because originally I was going to buy a Sparco Sprint. And that seat was way too damn small. I sat in it, and the harnesses were below my shoulders. That's not going to work. So we got one of these. These harnesses are kind of right where you, they need to be. They want to be, you kind of want them, like, right, I assume, from what I know, like, right, like, like, the same height as your shoulders, or even a little, maybe not higher or lower, but you know, kind of right in that, that ballpark. So this one is perfect. Now, this seat and the Sparkos are great seats. Seats like NRG, eh. Replica AutoZone seats, eh. So you need, if, you, if you're in the store, if you're in the market for looking for one, definitely buy one of these. Definitely, even, just, you don't have to buy one. I'm not going to yell if you don't, but definitely look at them. Definitely sit in one, and definitely sit in Sparkos and Mercaros, even Brides. They're all really nice seats. What you need to do, though, if you're going to buy one, is definitely sit in them. Because if you don't sit in your seat, you'll never know if it's going to work for you. And then you just spent a lot of money and a lot of time wasted trying to get a seat, and then you're going to have to return it. Or if, you don't, if they don't accept returns, you're going to be pretty much... You're gonna be, uh, you know, you, you got it. So, uh, I sat in, I sat in all the seats. That, I, I sat in a Sprint that was way too small. So I sat in another OMP, and that one was also way too small. And I sat in this one. This one's perfect. So again, like I said, definitely sit in your seat. Now, if you have experience with racing seats, and you've already bought a couple or even one, and you know what you're looking for, and you know how they should feel or how, how you like them, and then definitely, you know, by all means, buy one online. Buy one where it's cheap, buy one 
uh, where you can get the best deal, whatever. You don't want to you don't want to overspend for seats, but you also don't want to underspend either because it's your safety we're talking about, which is numero uno and portante for your, any project for your drift cars, for your race cars, for your any of your cars. So definitely think about safety. That's that should be number one priority. Usually for me it's not, but right now it is. Anyway, yeah. I think that will do it for the video. I didn't want to do an overcomplicated video, something easy, something simple, something for you to watch, and something for me to make. And I think something like this is relatively easy. Something, you know, you if you're in the market, it's just to help you guys. If you're looking for a racing seat, a bucket seat for anything of your projects, or just you're trying to upgrade. OMP, definitely think about it. Definitely look into the first R's, definitely look into the Sparco Sprints, Recaro, Sparco Evo, Sparco like S2000s, whatever they're called. You know, they're all really, really good brands. It's all about what you like, all about what works though. That's important too. You need to find a seat that holds you and is safe. So with that being said, have a great day and we will see you later.